Hello, my little creatives. Welcome back to another episode of Drawfully Fun. Draw with me. Today, we're going back in time and we're going to be taking a look at some prehistoric characters or one character in particular, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as the Tyrant Lizard King. That's right, we're going to go take a look at the king of the dinosaurs. Now, why he was the king of the dinosaurs is beyond me because there were some other dinosaurs that were way bigger, way scarier, way more damage. Uh-uh. Have you not heard of the Spinosaurus? <laughs> that thing was crazy. Well, I also have a Spinosaurus drawing that I will be coming out with very soon, but we're going to start out with the T-Rex. The T-Rex is going to be the first drawing out of the new series of a little rock band I'm putting together. It's a rock band of dinosaurs, and the T-Rex is the lead singer. That's right, he's the king. He's going to be the king of rock and roll. <laughs> no pun intended for Elvis there. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be the king of rock and roll. He's the tyrant lizard king. He's going to be the lead singer. Eventually, we're going to have a guitarist, a bass player, a drummer. We're going to have somebody as a little DJ on the DJ booth. We're also going to have another character on the keyboard eventually. But let's start with the very first one, shall we? Let's jump right in. Let's waste no time. Let's start with the eye. We're only going to have one eye today because he's doing a profile view. He's doing a profile pose. So let's start with a rainbow curve right in the middle. Mm -hmm regular old rainbow curve nothing fancy then we're going to make a really big hot air balloon right on top of this rainbow curve and this is going to be his big old eyeball boop like that easy peasy off to a good start not bad not bad now we want him to be looking to the right somewhere maybe we can eventually draw a little microphone on him here once i put the band together we'll have all the instruments around but for now we're just going to have him looking over to the right so we're going to have a pupil facing to the right center line curving this way awesome awesome let's do the same exact thing right behind that we're creating a stripe right down the middle of his eye this is where we're going to create ladders. If you remember, it's been quite a while since I've posted one of my original characters. I've been posting a lot of gaming characters lately. So if you haven't seen my previous characters, we're going to be doing ladders in our character. We're going to draw ladders going all the way up to the tippity top. This is the part of the eye that gets to color. And the rest of it on the, the back rest of it is going to be white and the front is the pupil the pupil is going to have sparkles so we're going to do a big sparkle on top and a little sparkle let's go about right here a little sparkle on the bottom like that and for those of you that know me very well you know what we got to do to this eye right i don't like empty eyes they're creepy we got to close them out. So let's go ahead and color in the pupil. Nice and dark. It gives it that cute factor. Raises it by at least five points. At least. There we go. Look at that. Looking good. Let's go ahead and do a big eyelid. Now this is not the eyebrow. This is more like an eyelid. A little hood that goes over the eye. So we're going to do this pretty much for all my reptiles and amphibians. Big old hood right on top of the eye. You can kind of curve it outwards a little bit if you wanted to. Just to give it a little bit more dimen dimension. No. <laughs> we want to just make it look like it's going to the right. Let's leave it at that. We're going to do a big old snout here eventually, well in a second. So this is why that line is here, so we can just get some curves facing to the right. So let's jump right into the snout. It's going to be a humongous snout. We're going to dip down right here in the center and then bring it all the way up. Nice big bubble and bring it down right there. Just before we get to the bottom of the eyes where I'm going to stop because I want to do some nostrils right here right where we left off on this line we're going to go ahead and create a little rainbow curve all the way around facing a little more to the right it's an angled rainbow curve same thing on the left we've got to have two nostrils right we're going to have two to be able to smell and then we're going to do a little circle on the inside color that in nice and dark for our shadow 
Same thing over here. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. There we go. So we have two nostrils. Let's close out the mouth. So we're going to make a really, really, really big happy face curve going all the way across. And we're going to come out. We're going to basically go from where the middle of the eye is. I'm going to put a little dot where I want to stop. So I'm just guiding myself by this midpoint here. Boop. Bring it down. And now I know where I want my smiley face to go. So from the nostril, just a little bit past the line that we left off on, bring it all the way down into one big happy face. Mm. Like that. Looking good so far. Really, really big. Really big smile. Now, I want to actually give the illusion that he has a little eye in the back here, just the back side of this little hood. So what I want to do now is just do a little hill going all the way around, and there you go. It gives the illusion that he has two eyes. There we go. Now, this is not the final point of our smile. We're actually going to give it some more curves. So from this line right here, we're going to do the opposite of this little rainbow curve, and we're going to come here and do a little happy face curve just a little bigger than this rainbow curve right on top of that line and this is where that final smile point of our mouth is going to be right there big 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 mouth and inside this big mouth has to be humongous teeth huge huge teeth so let's go ahead and do a big row of teeth going all the way across and don't go too high up because remember his nose is all the way over here we're going to go just about midway up the snout right over here so start on this line in the back and just keep doing triangles all the way across. Now if you want your T-Rex to look a little less intimidating, you can round out your teeth. You don't have to make them so sharp. You can make them round, sharp, however you like. It depends on how ferocious you want your T-Rex to look. Mine is not very ferocious. After all, it is a rock star. He's got to have a likable personality to be able to be the lead singer of a band, right? <laughs> Unless you want the bad boy. I don't know. He could be that bad boy rock star. <laughs> Let's go ahead and close out the bottom of the mouth. He's got to have that big, roaring, open mouth. He is singing the song after all. So right here, I'm going to come over here and just make a little line to represent how wide the mouth is going to be. And then we're going to close it out completely. So from where we left off, just about over here, bring this down. And then right when we get to this line where we meet where we left off on this one, I want to kind of make this look more squarish than round. So I'm just going to make this line go a little forward, kind of like a little square. See how it's not an actual circle rounding out? A little bit more of a square lip. All right, let's close out this little section here. So from here, we're just going to give the illusion that he has a little bit of roundness on this lip. So just bring a little curve on the edge and another little curve on the edge. There we go. And last but not least for the head, well, for the face, we're going to do the jawline, this big old squarish, weird-looking jawline. So right under the little mouth line, we're just going to come here and make a little jaw all the way around, curve down, and right where we started creating the square shape, we're going to actually make the square get a little more elongated here, bring it down, and then square it out again, and close it up to the top. There we go. So he has a lot more of a square jaw. Now you can round this out if you want to, if you didn't like having it more like a square. Again, this is your drawing. You do you. Change it up however you want. If you don't want yours to be a rock star, do whatever you want. You can leave out the mohawk we're going to do. He doesn't have to have the headphones that he's going to have on in a second. You could just make him a crazy roaring T-Rex. Regular old dino. <laughs> Let's make some teeth on the bottom here because right now he looks a little weird with only one row on the top. So same process. We're just going to come over here and make triangles facing upwards instead all the way across the entire lower mouth Boop. there we go and of course we got to have a tongue so from let's say just about before this one this little tooth bring this line going all the way back go behind the teeth wherever your teeth are lying kind of guide yourself and put a big old tongue going as far back as you can there and you can also do that little line 
right down the center so that you know that is the actual tongue. Looking good. Okay, so we are done with the face. Let's move on. Before we can do the mohawk, we're going to do a pair of headphones right on his head. So he's listening to something, even though he's the lead singer, maybe he's practicing, you know, maybe he is listening to himself. You know how when you're, you're on stage and you got that little earbud in your ear, this could very well be something similar. He's listening to maybe uh, the music and just singing based off of that. I don't know. It's a dino with headphones. It doesn't make sense already. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just keep moving on. Let's go ahead and do the little headband. So from the little eyelid here, we're just going to bring two lines down. One right here and one right here. This is going to be the little strap of the headphones that are coming down the back. Now I modeled these based off of uh, kind of like Beats headphones. You can make this however you want. You don't have to do it like this. If you have a better style of headphones that you like to draw or you've seen that you want to attempt to draw, go for it. Again, you do you, right? So let's come over here and do a big old bubble, nice big circle wrapping around all the way and connect it to that line right there. And then let's go ahead and give it some more depth here. Let's make it layer upwards. We're going to make something that looks like a target so right here, create another circle, but this circle is going to be offset to the left. We want it to be touching the corner here. So instead of a circle right in the center, make it look like it's touching the left side. It gives it a little bit more dimension and you see that this is one entire side of the headphones. Big old circle. Now in the center, you do that little target. And voila, you got headphones. Not bad. Right here on the back, let's add the little tippity top of the head. It's going to be a little rainbow curve, just to give the illusion that there is a little bit of a head back there, kind of connecting to the rest of the actual top. Yeah, there we go. That little itty bitty line made this entire section here just really come together. It's amazing how one single line can make such a difference. I love it. Let's do the mohawk. Now this part is optional. If you don't want yours to be a, mo a mohawk, a rock hard rock, <laughs> I can't talk. Oh my goodness. If you don't want yours to be a rock star, don't do this part. Just hang tight or skip ahead and pass the mohawk. I'm going to do four triangles going all the way across, all the way up to the top. Bring your first triangle down, nice and sharp. We want these mohawks to be nice and sharp full of gel full of hairspray <laughs> nice and sharp big one again to the right start curving them inwards nice and sharp bring it back down two more one more all the way off to the right nice and long and sharp bring it down and the final one is going to be a lot smaller it's just going to be the little tippity tip of the tippity tip <laughs> the little tippity triangle of your mohawk right here yep. there we go perfect looking good love it love it okay let's work on the body we're gonna have a neckline right here going downwards follow this little invisible path that you have here behind your headphones and create the neckline that curves all the way back up and back down Boop. into the back now this is gonna be a very small proportioned body so the head is humongous, the body is smaller. So we want these disproportioned features to really make it cute. That is one of the key elements of drawing a cute character. Disproportioned parts, disproportioned elements. So again, neckline, bring it all the way down. This is the curve of the back. And then rounding out the back side that eventually is going to come down and be the leg. Okay, let's do the front neckline. So right here from the jawline curve this inwards and then pop it out so it's a nice big belly right here nice big 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 belly Boop. all the way around like that so I'm guiding myself based off of where I created this curve so I know where I want my belly to stop this is actually gonna be where the leg is gonna start so it's gonna be my little roadblock so again we're gonna go from where we started the curve and end your belly line right there. Let's go ahead and give him some little arms. Remember, T-Rexes have tiny little arms and a big head and little arms. <laughs> and let's go ahead and come over here and do those little arms. Small arm with two claws. Now you can make your claws round 
or sharp, again, depending on how vicious you want yours. I'm gonna make mine a little bit on the sharp side, bring it down and up, and then close out the bottom like that. There you go, looks like a hoof, <laughs> but you get the point. Two claws, same thing over here, exactly the same process, bring it around and down into a little sharp claw, number two, and back up, and close it out. And there you go, a little arms. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's work on the leg that's gonna be right down here. So we're gonna start, right. we're gonna do the leg right where we stopped on this belly curve. And it's gonna be a big backwards letter C. So bring this all the way around. This is the knee of our leg, big old knee. Okay, and then on the opposite side, what I want to do is come over here where we left off on this back curve and bring it down just a bit, maybe about one finger space down, just about one finger space, about right here. And we're going to curve this outwards and then back in and out, kind of like a really stretched out letter S reaching for the stars, right? So big stretched out letter S, leaving off kind of where we left off with the knee. We're gonna have a big heel popping up out of the floor, kind of like if you were on your tippy toes and you have the back of your heel sticking up here. So we're gonna curve this inward into our toes. So it looks like an L shape, nice big old L shape. And then we're gonna have three toes right here. So bring this around, number one, number two. Now you, again, you can make these sharp, you can make them round, it's up to you. And number three, and this is gonna curve all the way up, right to the top, and there you go, foot number one, awesome. We're gonna do the same exact process for the right foot, right leg. We're gonna start with this big knee curve right here. So start around the middle of your belly and do that C-shaped curve, but don't bring it all the way up. Leave off, just like we did with this one, leave off about the same way, they almost look identical, okay? Same exact process with the foot. Bring this down, we're gonna start like if we were starting right here. Bring this down and then curve it around for the heel and into an L shape, okay? And then we're gonna have two, I'm sorry, three, not two. <laughs> three little toes coming out again, sharp or round, you do you. Mine are going a little bit more on the round side today, but that's okay, and up. There we go. Two feet are done. Let's do the tail. We're almost done, guys. Look at that. We are doing amazing. So right here, we're going to have a really thick inner tail, and then the outer tail is going to be the skinny little tail that's curling a little bit. Again, we're doing very small proportions. So from just above this line that you left off here, we're gonna start the tail right here. And we're gonna bring it all the way around and come down to about right here. All right, so if you wanna mark the two spots on the entrance of your tail, go for it. Two little lines, one right here, one right here. And let's start going upwards big curve and then turn it into a hill going down like if it was a little question mark okay and finally we're gonna round it out to bring this around into a little curve upwards and down connect it to that line that you left off on right there that is why we put a little guide we like to guide ourselves with little lines and all that's left to do here is the inner belly and the inner tail, the undertail. So from the neckline, just right below the jawline, right here, we're gonna curve this in and right back out, go behind the arm, follow this invisible path, make sure they're lined up as best as you can and curve it back to the leg. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And of course, the tail. Same thing, bring this all the way around. Kind of figure out where you want it to pop out of based off of where you left off here. Go up and close it out. Do, 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 do. Right when it starts this little hook, right here is where you want to stop that little inner tail. Because we don't see the inner tail on this end. Remember, it's a little curved hook tail. We don't want that little inner tail there. And then last but not least, we have the ladders going all the way down the belly. Let's go behind the arm 
kind of eyeball where you want the lines to come from. Go behind each arm, boop, right there. And then going up here, all the way up. Doop, 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 doop. Nice, look at that. Oh, wait, one more detail. One more final detail. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I like to add some cute little triangles. They're not spikies, they're scales. <laughs> I don't know what they have on them, but you know what I mean. It's their decorative skin. <laughs> I'm going to do triangles right here just to show that we have some cool design on him. About two on the tail, really big one on the back side, and one right here in the middle. And then start going up the neckline, and then one right here, and voila, there you go. We're done, guys. Oh my gosh, this came out fabulous. I am in love with this. Now, I do have another version of a T-Rex, a more kitty, cutie, friendly, Barney the Dinosaur type of T-Rex. I don't like Barney, but it's kind of like that. You can check it out in the cards here. Um, it was my first edition T-Rex. So if anybody wants to go on more of a beginner level to draw this little guy here, check out that video and see if you can give uh, that one a try and of course guys you know what we got to do here ready let's count down let's go see the completed version ready in three two one the completed version Ta -da! <laughs> all right guys you know the drill give this video a big thumbs up if you liked what we did here it really helps me out with the algorithm Ooh, I just drew on my finger. I just realized that I got dirty. Hey, <laughs> messy artist in the house. Watch out. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you like the channel and ring that notification bell so you can get notified of all the future content coming up. Tomorrow, we might just go back into the gaming world. I have a new character that I would like to show you guys that I'm very proud of. So stay tuned. Which game are we doing? That's the question. Hmm, can you guess what game we're going to? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll give a shout out to the first person who can guess it right. Maybe. All right, everybody. Until the next time, happy creating.